everybody. Uh, today I'm going to be talking about uh, how to rank for specific keywords on Amazon. So um, a couple of things that, uh, that you want to um, take a look at, of course, would be um, uh, finding out what keywords specifically that you want to try to rank for and um, things like that. But uh, let's give it a couple of minutes to uh, let people jump on and also make sure that uh, people can hear me. Uh, I know last time I was having some audio issues. It sounds like it was Be Live, uh, one of the programs that we use to, to broadcast live. So I'm just using Vanilla Facebook Live this time, and hopefully that'll work. So, um, yep, that's right, Jacob. Uh, and uh, Jacob, if you could let me know if you can hear me okay, that I'd really appreciate that, um, just because I don't want to start getting into this and then uh, realize halfway through, like I did last time, that the audio is not working. So if somebody can just let me know if the audio is loud and clear, um, then I'll, I'll get down to business. Um, Okay, awesome, perfect. Jacob says he can hear me great. Fantastic, okay. So um, if you've never ranked for keywords before, um, it's not easy, but it's also not rocket science. Um, there's actually kind of some logical steps that you need to take in order to uh, be able to rank for a keyword. Um, so let's kind of take it from the top. Uh, what is keyword ranking? Well, uh, keyword ranking is optimizing your listings um, and your marketing to target keywords that Amazon users uh, used to search for your product. So um, say for example, you are selling uh, microphones um, and maybe you're specific to podcast microphones. So your keyword that you would be targeting would be a uh, podcast microphone uh, or a subset of that um, search term. So the first thing you wanna do is uh, collect your keywords and uh, some ways to collect your keywords, some of the most effective ways are to use um, your pay-per-click campaign, so all your Amazon PPC ads, uh, either your auto campaign or your manual campaigns. Uh, go through and see which keywords are converting the best and um, for the cheapest price. And those are a good place to start on, um, on the list of keywords that you want to build. Um, a lot of, uh, what, what I think a lot of people make a mistake with when they're ranking for keywords is they try to rank for a bunch of keywords at one time. And that's, uh, you can do that if you have a lot of money and uh, you know what you're doing, but um, generally the easiest way to do it is to start out with one keyword. So um, uh, like I said, you would go through your PPC or uh, another way to do it is you can look at, uh, you could type that your main, uh, what you think is your main keyword into the Amazon autocomplete. Um, and that'll give you some popular search terms for uh, that main search term. Uh, you can look at some of your competitors, uh, see what kind of keywords they're using. Um, and then just make a list of uh, like the top 10 keywords that you think you'd want to rank for. Uh, once you have that list, uh, then you want to start start uh, you know building for that. One of the first things you want to do is go to your listing and make sure that your the keyword that you're trying to rank for is in your listing. If that keyword is not in your listing um, exactly, so the exact phrase, then it probably won't rank. So in other words, if you um, had a uh, podcast microphone, but it was a black podcast microphone. Um, you would want to make sure that the, the phrase black podcast microphone, if that's the keyword that you are going to be targeting, uh, you would want to make sure that that, is, uh, that phrase is in, your, is, is in your listing somewhere, preferably in the title, but at least in the bullet points. Um, and so once you get that uh, dialed in, uh, then you want to start uh, trying to rank for, um, for those keywords. So... Um, First step would be, uh, of course, during all of this, you wanna make sure that your PPC campaigns are on, and uh, if you're targeting that specific phrase, you wanna make sure when you're running the um, offsite traffic and uh, promotions on that key, uh, keyword or that uh, phrase that you're targeting that phrase very um, ambitiously um, uh, in Amazon PPC. So in other words, um, if you were targeting a black podcast microphone, you wanna make sure that in your Amazon PPC, you have that uh, bid cranked up as high as possible uh, to make sure that you're getting that uh, keyword support uh, directly from Amazon PPC as well as from your offsite traffic. Uh, so once you do that, then you would go and start uh, sending your offsite traffic with the two-step URL that we talked about uh, yesterday. Uh, if you don't know what a two-step step URL is, you can search YouTube or Google or something like that and uh, have a pretty easy time to figure out what it is. In essence, you just uh, search Amazon for uh, that keyword, uh, and then you filter to show your product, and then you copy the URL and use that URL in your offsite traffic. Um, and so, um, 
Hold on one second. Jacob saying, do you use the pound sign in your Amazon autocomplete search bar searching? Um, I believe that used to work, but honestly, I uh, last I checked, that wasn't working anymore. So let's see if that's working or not. Um, yeah, it doesn't look like it's working anymore. It used to. Um, what Jacob's talking about is um, you used to be able to put the pound sign in, and it would give you um, the phrases before and after um, the phrase. So if you typed in microphone, it would give you uh, words that appeared before and after the word microphone. Um, Amazon, uh, last I, I tested and last I heard, they uh, plugged that ability. Uh, they got rid of that ability. So, um, you know, you, you can use, uh, you know, keyword tools to figure that out, like keyword tool IO, um, things like that. Uh, our tool, which I know we've been talking about our tool for a while, but uh, it was a complex tool. So it took a lot longer than we had, had hoped and anticipated. But um, we're looking at the uh, second week in February. We actually just integrated the last tool, so it's complete. We're just doing some final testing, um, and then we're gonna open up the beta test uh, to some people. And uh, one of our tools is amazing. You literally just plug in uh, what you're targeting, and it'll tell you what what to uh, what to use. Um, and so that's coming soon. But anyway, back to uh, what we're talking about here. Uh, so when you start driving your offsite traffic, uh, you want to hit it from multiple points. We talked about that yesterday as well, using that two-step URL. So if black podcast microphone is what we're targeting for, we want to make sure that we're using that URL um, every place possible. So we'd use that on YouTube or on, on I'm sorry, on um, Facebook. Um, if we're doing promotions on Facebook, we'd use it there. If we're doing ads on Facebook, we'd use it there. If we're posting it in groups um, or giveaway groups or things like that, we want to use it there. Um, pretty much any source of traffic that you're driving uh, tr outside traffic from, you want to make sure you're using that same URL to target that one keyword. Uh, now, another mistake that people do is they do it for a couple days and they're like, oh, it doesn't work, uh, and then they give up. Um, so the other thing you want to do is make sure you're using some type of tracking uh, to make sure that you're watching that keyword and seeing where your product ranks in relation to that keyword, uh, whether it's manually or uh, using a tool so that you can actually gauge uh, the effectiveness of, of how that uh, keyword is ranking. Um, the next uh, thing that you want to do is, um, <laughs> hey, tell, uh, not nervous, uh, just a lot of things to do today. Uh, so that's, uh, that's probably what's showing through. Um, let me try to refocus for you. Um, the other thing that you want to make sure that you do is, um, is uh, run it for at least seven days. So you want to run that promotion and the the, the um, aggressive PPC and things like that for at least seven days, and then go back and look and see at your progress. Now, once you do start uh, getting rank, uh, then you can uh, start moving on to other words. But what you want to make sure that you do is you don't give up on that word. So um, if you have ranked for that word, you want to at least leave on some type of you know something that keeps traffic flowing to that keyword, whether it's your PPC or uh, promotions or things like that. You want to make sure that that keyword stays in uh, in your marketing. So that's uh, something that you uh, definitely want to uh, you know concentrate on. Um, now, once you start doing that, uh, you'll start seeing some ranking, and then you'll you'll want to move on to the next keyword. Now, if for some reason that you're you're targeting a keyword and it's not working, so you, you're throwing tons of money at it, you're doing offsite traffic, you're doing all kinds of things and you're not ranking, um, then that's where you go back to your listing and make sure that uh, you do some more optimization on that listing. So that would mean checking your um, your photographs, checking uh, especially the content, your title, your bullet points, things like that. And then you also wanna make sure you're indexing for that keyword. Uh, once again, there's tools that you can, uh, you can use to do that. Um, the other easy way to do it is you just type in the ASIN and then the phrase that you're targeting and make sure that your product shows up in the results. Um, if it does not, then that means you got an indexing problem. Amazon thinks that you're not relevant for that keyword, and so then you have to mess with your listing a little bit more to make sure that uh, that you start indexing for that uh, for that keyword. And uh, so you pretty much, um, uh, you know, just redo this or redo this process over and over again, um, and uh, you just move down the list or up the list uh, depending on on what kind of strategy you're using. Um, I always like to start kind of in the middle. Um, and then uh, work my way uh, down or up, uh, or sometimes both. Uh, but like I said, if you're just starting out, just uh, start with a with a, a word, what, a single word, and then uh, work from there. Um, yeah, I think that's uh, that's pretty much covering it. Um, I'm not going too uh, much into the details. Trying to keep this these videos around 10 minutes. 
Um, if you have any questions uh, or any you don't understand or need any specifics on how to um, to, to run this procedure, let me know. Um, some of you may have heard this before, others may have not, maybe new to you. Um, but uh, yeah, it's definitely uh, definitely worth doing. And uh, if you're not doing this, your competitors are, and that's how they're beating you. So um, you know, you, you definitely want to use this strategy along with with other strategies. But um, I'll wait a couple minutes here and um, and wait for people to jump on. In the meantime, we'll talk a little bit more um, just about the tool that we're building. Uh, once again, if you haven't heard of it, it's uh, Seller SEO. Uh, you can go to sellerseo.com if you want to uh, drop your email address in and uh, either get a, a beta invitation or um, when we launch, we're going to send uh, the people who sign up um, on the website before we launch, uh, you know, some discounts and promotions and thing like, things like that. Um, uh, but we'll have some beta testers next week. Uh, and those people, the reason why we're not just uh, launching, you know, right away to everyone is we want to get people in there, get some feedback, uh, make sure our servers can hold up because we expect, uh, you know, quite a few people to, to, to be jumping on pretty quickly once, uh, they see the, the, uh, power that this tool is going to bring. Um, it's pretty much a tool that, uh, that we kind of conceptualized. Uh, I, you know, I initially had a, a concept of it and then, uh, when I met my, Partners Anna and Grants uh, in Las Vegas last year. Uh, we had, you know, started talking and decided that we had a lot of the same ideas and and saw some major gaps in uh, the current tools that were out there. Um, so what we tried to build was something that's extremely powerful but also extremely simple. So if you're, um, you know, somebody who's just starting out, you know, like a housewife or um, you know somebody who hates their job, like most people did. You know, of course I hated my job. Uh, I mean, there's some things I loved about it, but you know, I, I hated the hours and, and, and things like that. So, you know, some people are wanting to get out of their jobs, things like that. So when they first jump in, there's, there's kind of a steep learning curve, especially for SEO and optimization, PBC, things like that. So what we built were a bunch of tools where uh, even somebody who really doesn't, uh, you know, doesn't have the, the knowledge or the years of experience that we do um, to be able to come in and, and be, you know, really successful on Amazon, whether that's uh, sourcing, um, SEO, PPC, um, you know, all kinds of pretty much covering everything that's, uh, that you can think of when, uh, when it's, uh, time to launch or rank a product or, uh, optimize a listing or things like that. Um, uh, Talon, yep. Uh, the video will stay up. Uh, all, all my lives, uh, usually stay up. Um, so, um, that should, uh, it should be here and then you can watch it again at your leisure. Um, if there are no more questions, uh, once again, you can go to sellerseo.com. Uh, my current project, um, if you want to do uh, launches and promotions, uh, it's amzblitch.com. And um, yeah, that's. I, I guess we'll wrap up now. It doesn't look like we have any more questions. I'll just hang for just a, a few, about uh, 10 or 20 more seconds. But um, yeah, last year we uh, we got into some craziness. You know, we had the fires here in uh, Northern California and Santa Rosa. Uh, and then I had my, my mother was ill for a while and, and, uh, and, uh, my partner, Grant Nana, they had the, the hurricane down in Florida. So we've had a busy year and a, a lot of obstacles, but, uh, you know, it's just like anything, you just plow ahead and, uh, and, uh, we'll, uh, you know, we'll, uh, keep you updated on, on all the cool things we got going on. Um, any PDF reference? Uh, I know I did that last time, Gary. The reason I did that last time is because I didn't, uh, the audio was, was pretty terrible last time. Um, if I have time, I will, uh, but honestly, <laughs> just like all of you, I, I'm pretty busy throughout the day. So, um, I'll, I'll see if I can do that, see if I can, uh, give you some kind of reference, If I don't do that today. Uh, we're going to, we're going to try to do these a lot more, um, you know, every day, every other day, uh, things like that, and just kind of go through, um, all the steps. Um, I also do like Q and a lives, uh, quite a bit, um, usually via B live, but like I said, that hasn't been working too well lately. So. Um, until I get that figured out, uh, we'll just do the, the standard, uh, you know, Facebook live here where we can do a Q and a here. And, uh, maybe if I have time later today, uh, depending on how much I get done with some of the other stuff I need to do, uh, maybe I'll do that later today. If not, um, you know, sometime this week or early next week, um, I'll jump on and do a Q and a, and you can reference, um, you know, what, what I talked about here or kind of any other tactics or things that, uh, people are having trouble with. Um, that's kind of my favorite thing is when, when people do uh, question and answer because so many people, uh, you know, people, so many people get to uh, learn from other people's uh, questions, you know, things like that. Um, what do you think about Amazon's affiliate program? Uh, well, I, I mean, I know about it. I've used it in the past. It's not something, uh, 
you know, that I spend a lot of time with just because to me, if you're going to spend time, you know, building links and things, doing things like that, why not just private label a product and uh, launch your own brand and why promote somebody else's product? If you know what you're doing, especially in the affiliate world, then uh, just promote your own products. Um, so yeah, that's, that's that. Shout out to you, Marco. Good to see you, brother. Hope everything's good over there in Italy. Um, yeah, anything else? All right, folks. Well, uh, thanks, thanks, uh, thanks a bunch for joining me. And uh, like I said, we'll uh, we'll be back on here again soon and uh, get your questions ready. Um, you know, I've uh, I've been on the uh, internet marketing uh, Amazon space for uh, well, I've been starting uh, online businesses since I was about 18 years old. But uh, the Amazon game I started in 2013. But uh, I've pretty much got uh, every online uh, tip and trick and thing that uh, that you can learn. Um, you know, I've, I've learned so much over the years and I really love sharing that knowledge because uh, I know when I was starting out, I would have loved to have somebody uh, to, to be able to do things like that. I know we didn't have uh, Facebook Live and things back then and, and uh, YouTube wasn't as prevalent. So you kind of had to learn on your own. Uh, so this is pretty uh, awesome that, uh, you know, people like like me get to help the, the newbies starting out or uh, people are having issues. So cheers and uh, happy Thursday. Take care.